This is kind of an automated way of dusting. Snip the ends and not the length. Easier, faster, and safer than scissors. Intimidating. Trimming those split ends could actually help me grow my hair and not in the way you think. It can either go amazing or tragic. Um, Hola gente, what is up my warrior angels? Welcome to yet another video. Here we usually test out new hair care for the first time on camera and my hair takes the bullet for you guys. Just for today we're going to be spicing things up just a little bit and we're gonna be testing out a hair gadget. The Split Ender Pro 2. I purchased this very expensive tool with my own money. And hopefully today we will find out the truth. Is it worth the splurge or maybe not? I don't know. I've been very into at-home beauty gadgets lately. I'm gonna be linking right here in the eye at the corner my demo of four different beauty devices by Tech True Beauty. That experience really opened up my eyes about how powerful and independent you can feel about your beauty routine and the almost professional results you can get at home. Once again, big thank you to Tech True Beauty for taking care of my skin. So let's go ahead and open this. Oh. Between concrete walls, there's a place for us. Do you wanna follow? Oh, I like the box. It's like magnetic. And inside the Split Ender Pro that looks broken, but it's not, that we're gonna use in just a sec. And you also get this bag that it's not bad. It's not a bad bag at all. Charger. And yes, it is a cordless version. The number two, I believe that is the biggest difference, the biggest upgrade brush thing to kind of, I guess, clean the device. I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of intimidating, scary. My main fear is that somehow my hair is going to get tangled, stuck in there, chopped unevenly or something like that. I think anyone that looks at this gadget probably shares that concern. So a few very, very important things. Do not use any kind of heavy oils or creams before doing this. I also blow dried. Straighter hair is a lot less tangle prone. The other important thing is to work with very small sections. It says no more than three times on each piece. There are two directional switches and you always need to turn on the switch in the direction of the floor. So if I'm gonna use this on this piece, I need to supposedly <laughs> press here. Hopefully you guys can see the green light. So I think I'm gonna go like from the chin downwards. I'm sorry, but that even sounds like a horror movie scream. I'm literally so tense now. So no more than three times. I'm gonna go in a second time. It says that if you start feeling like it is pulling, it's probably because you have way too much hair. There we go. Okay, let's see. You know what's really interesting and kind of disturbing that the little hairs that I see here, they don't seem like the same size. If you're familiar with the dusting technique, also kind of supposed to trim just the ends, just the split ends, this is kind of an automated way of dusting your hair. And you know what's good about dusting and if this makes that process easier for me, trimming those split ends could actually help me grow my hair and not in the way you think. Like tons of people think that you should trim your hair because trimming your hair somehow makes it grow more like from the root and it's not exactly how it works your hair is dead that's why we can cut it and it doesn't hurt sometimes it hurts emotionally to cut your hair but you know not physically so on average your hair will grow half an inch each month six inches per year 
Uh, trimming the ends is not going to make your hair grow faster. It's not going to stimulate the growth, but what it will do is that you will not lose inches due to breakage and that has a name and everything. It's called length retention. So let's say your split end looks like this. It will continue to kind of split, 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 click, and then break. So that said, let's move on to the second piece. Can you guys see that Y shaped split end right there? I really wonder how much hair we will accumulate in the end. I just accidentally switched it off. I actually switched it off accidentally twice. So I feel that because of the way you're using it on yourself, on someone else, you would use it like this, right? But when you're using it on yourself, like so, it's easier to, at least for me, it's been easy to just get my finger there and just hit the button. So that's kind of a con because I thought it had stopped working or that my hair got stuck or something bad had happened. So this is the bottom layer. Not bad. You know what? Even though this tool absolutely deserves <laughs> all your respect. I've done a couple of layers section by section and it does feel like a fairly safe tool. I was all maybe freaking out more than I should have. Can you imagine if I just said that and now there's some sort of malfunction and it chops my hair off. I want to see what happens with the top layer of my hair. More highlighted, more damaged. Let's just say I just expect it to work harder there. Oh and another very important thing is that the recommended frequency for this treatment for the use of the Split Ender Pro 2 is four to six weeks. Uh, it's true if you get a little bit carried away and anxious and you want to do like larger pieces like nothing bad happens but it will like pull let's say it lets you know and here we have the final result the lengths and ends actually feel kind of healthier to the touch I'm trying to grow my hair so it's a good thing that it really took off so little somehow it looks like a lot but it's so little. Doesn't replace your hairdresser because let's face it, they have talent, especially if you want like a fancy haircut. But if you are on a budget, all you want is to get rid of those split ends and grow your hair longer, faster. I feel this is the way to go. I will not argue the fact that this is an expensive tool. It's also going to save me tons of money. So I guess I'm gonna give this product a thumbs up. It really does what it promises. I'm gonna keep using it on my hair as a treatment every six weeks like the instructions say and then possibly I'm going to do an updated video six months from now to kind of let you guys know about long-term results and also if it's actually a durable tool like if it breaks in six months time um well that could be a problem because i'm expecting this to last as much as like let's say a flat iron 15 plus years or so so if that's the case it's it's going to be absolutely 100 percent worth every single dollar also there's a red one but i was not able to get it so but if you can definitely consider that one it looked 
gorgeous. Honestly, I just can't wait to use this on my husband because he hasn't had a decent haircut in like forever now. And that is a wrap, my warrior angels. I hope this video helped you make the right purchase decision for you. If it did, please consider using my links on this or any of my other videos. It really helps so much and keeps this channel going. Remember, no matter what comes your way, stay brave. You are a warrior with the heart of an angel. And I will catch up with you guys again on Wednesday. Do you want to follow? Mm -hmm. Do you want to follow? Click here.